Hello everybody, Frost Fan Fortune with you. Here is my cell phone says 12 11 a.m. on Sunday, March 28, 2021. The food and recipes I'm going to read to you. This first one is pork and crop patty melts by Michael Simon of its daily dinners. In, on easy mode, it takes 20 minutes, active 20 minutes, serving four people. We use one half pounds of ground meat, you, pork, salt and pepper, two spoons of oil. It's olive oil he uses, so you can use canola, safflower oil, Grape seed oil, anything. And a sauerkraut drain. And eight slices of cheese, of course, Swiss would be the ideal one for the patty melt. Two tablespoons of mustard. Dijon is what he uses for eight slices of bread. That's rye is what he used. That's also what you need for a patty melt. And two tablespoons of mayonnaise. For the ground meat, form the ground meat into four equal balls and sprinkle them with salt and pepper. And heat a large cast iron or heavy pan or medium high heat and add the oil. Add the balls to the pan, spatula them out with the spatula until slightly larger in diameter than the bread is. You cook for four minutes, four minutes, and you don't even think about moving them. Then you flip it and top each pie with some sauerkraut and two slices of the cheese. Cover and cook until the pies are cooked and the cheese is melted. That'll be about three minutes is what it takes. Then you spread a little mustard on each slice of the bread, sandwich each patty, between two slices of bread, brush the exterior of the bread with the mayonnaise and toast the sandwiches on both sides in the pan. Now that, you don't get any, any simpler than that. 20 minutes and these pork and crop patty melts will be served right at your table for either a nice hearty lunch or a very inexpensive dinner. So this was during his daily dinners last year because of COVID-19, but it's not too late to try this one out. I mean, you can never go wrong with this recipe. Use ground pork, of course. You can use any. You can use ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey, of course, whatever you want. This recipe says you, you can you can use whatever he wants, or you can go against it and pick whatever you'd like. But that was back then when there was a shortage. But now things are almost back to normal and. I guess we don't have to worry about that now, do we? But this looks like a good meal. I mean, you wouldn't pass this one up. And if you're one of those people who want, who's daring and wants to try something rather unusual for a patty melt, then this pork and crop patty melt by Michael Simon are the recipe for you. And I got one more recipe coming up, so... Stay tuned, it's going to be very special, and I ask you not to go away.